All right, let's talk about outreach. I want to give you an untapped outreach strategy for landing copywriting clients, right? So I say this is untapped because I feel it's something that people aren't taking advantage of. So this is why you should watch this to take advantage of it. And to be honest with you, even if you do wait around, like there's so much potential, you shouldn't feel like you're ever missing out. Because I know a lot of people will be like saying, oh my God, like, you can't get on this now. You're going to miss it. You missed the boat. You're going to miss the opportunity. Fuck that. Like, I'm just giving you the truth. Like, um, it is untapped. I don't really see that many people talking about this, but I'm going to give you an outreach strategy. So before I get to the outreach strategy, um, I'm going to give you the high level of it, how it works. Um, but I do go into detail on the, this actual method inside my course, which there's a link in the description if you want to check that out. Um, okay, so I used to do outreach for getting copywriting clients the old fashioned way or like a method using cold email outreach. I would literally, you know, find brands, businesses online, reach out to them, pitch them my services, see how, show them how I can help them. Real simple, um, quite manually intensive, which just that's just what cold outreach is like on any platform, just take grunt, grunt work. Um, that's how I used to do it. But now though, I feel with the rise of platforms like Instagram and YouTube, YouTube especially, it, it's been made a lot easier to get clients and to find clients, right? So I like to focus on working with online creators, online educators, and people who generally have an expertise in something who are sharing knowledge on YouTube, right? So they're sharing knowledge on YouTube like I am doing now, and then they are more than likely selling something. <clears throat> so obviously I have my course and my school community. Other people have different courses, programs, services, products, whatever, right? What you wanna do is pick a niche that you know something about, right? I don't like personally writing about stuff that I have like next to no knowledge in. Like it just makes it really difficult. But if you have a, like at least a little bit of knowledge in a subject, I think that goes a long way. Now, copywriting is great because you can literally write in any niche, for any market, because the principles of copy are pretty much all the same and they translate across markets and niches really easily. But when you're just starting out, I like to pick a niche or like some kind of focus. So don't go too niche, but for me, it would be something like online, online educators, online course creators, things like that. You're then gonna go onto YouTube and you're gonna start searching keywords in your niche. So I'll use an example. Let's say for example, you wanted to focus on basketball, right? So you would search basketball tutorial or basketball, like how to dunk or whatever. I'm not, a, I don't play basketball, so I don't know the specific terms, but I can guarantee if you search some of the most generic terms in that niche, like how to videos, you're gonna come across literally thousands of creators and people sharing their knowledge, right? Then you want to go through each of these creators and start looking at what they are offering. And you'll generally be able to find this in the about page of their YouTube channel or in the description of their YouTube channel like I'm doing right now, right? Just literally watch what I'm doing, right? Start clicking through, start exploring, start looking at where these people are sending you after people have consumed their content. Say for example, it's a landing page as an opted for an email sequence. You can start looking at ways to improve that landing page. So could you come up with a number of different headlines, subheadlines, bullet points that like help the person turn more viewers into subscribers? Um, if, they, if they send people directly to a product or service that's a paid thing, how can you help them make more money, right? Like, how can you help them improve the copy, right? These, these are all no-brainer things, right? I keep saying right. I need to stop that. It's a bad habit. Um, and um, <laughs> catching myself doing it. Anyway, we're on the fly. We're walking. It's a beautiful path. And you should be outreaching to... I'd probably say 10 or 15 of these a day, or maybe less depending on like who you come across and like what you feel you can help them with. 
but the more the better with outreach, I think. Um, the more the better, but also there's a caveat with that. You want to be sending personalized messages to people and not just some generic message that somebody could feel like it's been sent to a thousand people. because That's just lazy and doesn't show any unique value whatsoever. But you can genuinely find so many people that need copywriting help with this method, right? I said right again. And it works on any platform. I just prefer using YouTube because I feel that is now an untapped stream for potential clients. And it's really straightforward. I don't like saying easy because it's not that easy. Just walking past some people. And we'll carry on. Maybe we see for that. And a dog. Yeah, I don't like saying things are easy. Uh, they're simple. So this is a really simple method. Set yourself a target of how many people you're going to outreach to every single day, half an hour of focus work a day or in a block, and start doing the work, the outreach. This is untapped because I, don't, I actually feel no, not many people know about this method or don't really know how to utilize YouTube properly to find potential clients. Like YouTube isn't untapped, it's not new. But the actual way of speaking to people the way I was, I would recommend is untapped, right? So if you are looking for clients as a beginner, pick a platform. I definitely would recommend YouTube. Stick to an outreach method until it works. Don't give up. I hope this has been useful. Any questions, drop them below and I'll see you in the next one.